So right now, this is what my living room is looking like. So as you guys saw that previously, um, that sofa right here was against this wall right here. And then this sofa that's in front of me was against that wall. So, and then the chair sat in the middle, like right there. And there was nothing right there in front of the fireplace. So what made me decide to change my living room, I wanted to do this for a while now, but that TV, zoom in. That TV right there I've had for exactly two years. Um, it's a Vizio 55 inch. Decided to go out and you can hear sound, but you can't see picture. Um, so therefore, um, I've had a couple of tech people to look at it and they told me it really wouldn't be worth fixing. Um, my warranty went out literally three weeks before um, the TV went out. So yeah, and I didn't purchase an extended warranty. Um, so I have this side table and as you guys can see, none of my living room furniture matches. Even like my sofa here, my leather sofa here does not match this leather sofa. Um, I bought them two different places um, because one, it was a sale, and then two, I don't really like matchy matchy furniture in my living room area, um, just because I like that warm, cozy feeling. So that's why you see a lot of browns in my um, living room is because I like coziness. Um, my fireplace over there is an electric fireplace, so I didn't mind um, covering it up, especially um, the winter months are coming. I don't burn that too often or burn it or cut it on too often because I have central air and heat. Um, so I had to purchase another TV. And so there's the mirror that's on the wall. And so that is going to have to come down. I particularly really don't want to put my um, TV on the wall, but I may have to to elevate it to get because I want to be able to decorate that TV credenza and I purchased that TV credenza or console from a furniture store that was going out of business and the regular price of that was I think right at a $1,100 and I got it for $300. I mean, that's one of the best finds ever. <laughs> um, but I did buy another TV. And it's a 55 inch. And it's another Vizio. And I got a great deal on that. Plus another discount. Um, because it's the 2016 model. And they have the 2017 models coming out. So, And I got it from Walmart. And I was able to... Um, actually at match on top of that. So that's what that's looking like. This piece over here um, is, it was another great find of mine. I got it at a local furniture store um, and they only had one of these left and so I got it for a really good price, um, literally for maybe $100. Um, so that is what I'm doing with this now. So this afternoon, I will be taking that mirror over there off the wall. Focus, my dear. Okay, so I will be taking that mirror off the wall and taking that TV down. And I'm thinking of putting that mirror on over the fireplace. I want to, I'm going to go online today because um, I have really high ceilings, as you guys can see. So I have a lot of space that I could use on my wall. And um, and I'm thinking of greenery. I have some plants outside that I need to bring in for um, the winter months. So I think that would be part of the greenery that's going to be in this living room. But I want to put my curtains up higher. And I need to find um, curtains maybe that's 100 and two in length or maybe higher and just elevate those rods up there. I want some different rods, but right now that will suffice for me. Um, and then I wanna be able to decorate my mantle a little more. And those things that you see on the mantle, I'm probably gonna put over here on the TV console. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking of decorating for Christmas this year. Um, 
putting up a Christmas tree and making it look really, really pretty in here. I do have my house for sale. Um, and so that's another reason I wanted to change it around as well, just to kind of give it a new look. Now, so here's the thing. I have these two huge sofas because my living room has been able to accommodate both sofas because they sit on each side of the wall. But right now, I'm not able to do that at all. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I want to keep um, this sofa here in here because I like the nail head detailing um, on there. And I'm gonna step back so you can see. See my um, my walls, like how high. So I have a lot of decorating space, um, but I don't like putting holes in my wall. And the, the color in my living room is the brown and the turquoise. Um, coming from the pop of turquoise, that's well, not a pop of turquoise, but from that desk right there. It's an old desk that's been chalk painted and distress and then I have pops of turquoise in my breakfast area and in my um, wine cabinet which is an old china cabinet from my mom's um, so yeah um, let me know well by the time this post I probably have everything together and so that table the end table over there came from the um, all of my furniture come from different furniture stores. Um, that was one they had left. That drawer actually opens up. It's the same color as that and that. So I think I need to break that open over there and put like some greenery. Um, and the reason why that console sits over there, it has my laptop in there. And so it pulls out and I can sit a chair there and do work. And on top of that has my modem. Um, and I guess I can move all of that into my TV console um, and put that piece of furniture somewhere else because everything that's on here can fit here, but I don't want it to be cluttered. Um, so I'll come back. Oh, and these flowers over here um, is from my best friend's wedding. And since I have turquoise, I decided to put that there. And those lamps are really inexpensive. They came from Kirkland's. Um, but this living room is so huge, as you guys can see. Um, so I'm trying to make it work. I'm going to post these pictures on some type of blog and ask people how to rearrange. I can get rid of this chair here, but it's sentimental to me. That was my mom's chair, her recliner. And that ottoman... Um, I keep it because the nail head goes with the nail head that's on my sofa, but that came with another, um, I'm going to show you. I need to clean it because it's the microfiber, but that's what that looks like. Um, that was with another living room um, set that I had. I still have the um, big man's chair, but I got rid of the love seat and the sofa, uh, which I probably should have kept, um, but... Someone was going through a hard time and I loaned it to them and I never got it back. So yeah.
That's it. I don't have room for it anymore, Maddie. I hate to get rid of it too, but I don't know what else to do. Are you going to cry? Seriously, Maddie? So, this recliner belongs to my mother. And it's Maddie's favorite chair. And she doesn't want to get rid of it. But my sister says she'll put it in her bedroom. So... Well, you want to put it in your room? That means we're going to have to take a bed out. You want to what? Take my bed out. Watch it. There's a ladder behind you. Hello. I can see all your boom. <laughs> Thank you. So what you think? Put it in our room. Mm, let me see take if it... Take the bed out. Take the bed out. Yes. Let me see if it'll fit in... I can see if it'll fit in Grammy's room. No. Grammy's old room. I'm trying to figure out what to do over here because. No, to the no, to the. Yeah. actually the finished look of my living room there was a couple of things I wasn't happy with I felt like the sofa over by the fireplace was a little bare and I had to put the candles on top of the, um, the fireplace mantle and also I wanted a horse head so I found one that was small um, I didn't want anything that was too big um, so I found a small one let me see if I can zoom in right there found that at at home and i think it was like twelve dollars um and was, those pillows came from at home as well and i think they were like nineteen dollars a piece i found some at ross but they weren't the color was not it was really really off um and then that pillow over there came from kirkland and it was actually free because um 
it scanned like three dollars and some change and so when i made a return purchase to kirkland's that made it absolutely free so that was a steal for me um i'm gonna like i said previously i'm gonna get some gold leaf paint and kind of rub that onto that mirror to give it a little pop of color in the center of the room um i've still left the afghanistan afghanistan the afghan over there on the sofa so that it can um just be something to cuddle up with and it can go on anything here basically and i left that pillow there they only had those two pillows at um, at home, so I couldn't get a third one, so I'm just going to leave that one there. And also, I did, um, I went and put, um, I went to storage, and those little birds right there, and I purchased those also from at home some time ago. I don't know how much they were, but I think they were like $2 a piece. Um, the rug, I was changing out the rug, and it just... It just made it too colorful in here, so I'm just going to leave this rug down, um, and I'm not gonna worry about purchasing another one. I'm just gonna take um, the other one that I had back. Um, I probably ha still have the receipt for it, but I purchased it at home as well. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can take it back, and maybe they can give me like a store credit. So let me show you from the kitchen what it looks like. Weird. 